welcome to a tutorial on the latest animation software from Honest Tech, Stop Motion Studio 4.0. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own stop motion movies. When you launch the app, you'll be asked to enter some basic settings for your project, such as the title and author. For your input camera, you can use the webcam that's built into your PC, an external webcam, or even a DV camcorder. But using the built-in webcam could be a hassle, since it's hard to aim it correctly at your characters. So, an external webcam is better. Better yet, is using a DSLR camera, with a feature called Live View. The image quality will be amazing, so that's what I have set up here. This is my set and characters. The DSLR camera is connected via a USB cable to my laptop. You can see that instead of the 640x480 capture size of my webcam, the DSLR gives me much higher resolution. This is where you select the frame rate of your animation. Now you can use a higher frame rate for smoother animation, all the way up to TV quality of 30 frames per second. But just remember that with a rate of 30 frames per second, you'll need to capture 1,800 frames to generate one minute of animation. So for my video, I'm going to select 10. That means I'll have to reposition my characters 10 times in order to get one second of animation. Up here at the top right, the Menu button lets you manage your projects. You can save, open, or create a new project. Click the Help button, and your cursor changes, so if you click a tool, you get a description of how to use it. The Stop Motion Studio screen can be divided into three main areas. The View screen, the Control Panels, and the Storyboard. In the control panel, the camera tool lets you adjust your webcam or DSLR. Auto Capture is a great tool. It lets you set how often the software grabs a frame for your animation. It's adjustable from one second up to 10 hours. The longer time frames are great for time lapse videos. You click this button to start and stop the auto capture. To help you line up objects on the screen and make adjustments to them, you can turn on the Grid feature. It displays a grid of lines in the viewer. And the Key Drawing tool lets you sketch on the screen to help you shape your figure for the next frame. Before we go over some of the other tools, let's record a few frames. You can either click this red capture button or the auto capture. After each frame is recorded, move your figure just a little. Then play back your video to see the animation in the View screen. Let's take a closer look at the Storyboard section. Each of the frames you record is numbered, and you can move through the video one frame at a time using the Next and Previous Frame button. There's a collection of tools over here on the left of the Storyboard. Full Storyboard brings up a window showing all of the frames you've captured. You can rearrange the order of the frames by dragging and dropping with your mouse. The String Removal tool replaces unwanted parts of your image. Let's say you had a string suspending a character in a scene. Select a frame that doesn't include the string, then use the Draw tool to clone parts of the image until the string disappears. Use the Image Editor to enhance or warp out any of the frames in your storyboard. You can apply image filters to the frame, or use a variety of paint tools.
With the Overlay tool, you can select two or more frames in the storyboard and combine them into one image. Use Overlay for creating an effect like speed of motion. Now let's create some more animation and use some of the more advanced tools. You see that I have a solid color background in my scene. We're going to use the Chroma Key tool to add in a background photo. Now here's a hint. Be sure to pick a background color that isn't found in any of the other elements of your scene. Then import the background image you want to use. Use the eyedropper to sample the solid color background and then adjust the color mask for the best results. Every frame I capture with the chroma key on will include this new background image. Another advanced tool in Stop Motion Studio 4.0 is the rotoscope. Use this feature when you have a reference image you want to shape your character into. You can view the reference image over your live feed. The Onion Skin slider lets you view a mix of your live camera feed over the previous image you captured. That way you can easily position your character for the next capture. You can further enhance your stop motion animation with audio. Click the audio button at the top right to add soundtrack music from an existing audio file. Or you can record audio for voiceover, sound effects, and dialogue. First, select the frame in the storyboard you want to add audio to and right-click on it. Select Record Audio from the menu that pops up. Okay, people, give me some one thing of push-ups. And when you stop recording, the audio will be shown in the storyboard. And what's a movie without titles? Click the Intro Title button to add text and graphics at the start of your animation. Click the Add Text tool to superimpose text to any of the selected frames during the movie. And the Ending Title button to add the credits. And when you've finished your masterpiece, save it as a movie. You can export it as a WMV or MPEG file, or save it in the best format for an iPad, YouTube, or Facebook. Well, that's just an overview of what you can do with Stop Motion Studio 4.0. For more detailed information, the complete user guide for Honest Tech Stop Motion Studio 4.0 is always available here in the upper right. Oh, and did you want to see my completed animation? Okay, you asked for it. Okay, people, give me some one finger push ups. Oh, look at this nice tanning bed. Wait, oh no, it's moving. Help me, help. Stop smiling, Missy, and put your hands up. Super person's here to save the day. Hop on and we'll go for a ride.